Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Soraya. I hope you enjoyed the video today. So here we are, I've got my canvas. It is a 30 inch by 60 inch canvas. It's 76 centimeters by 125 centimeters. Oh, sorry, 152. I was looking at it upside down. Um, and my client um, has a very modern home and uh, he has requested that I do a black, white and silver um, abstract painting. And that's what I'm gonna do now. So wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have the, I'm gonna have the focus, I think right here. So I'll put the black and silver along here and more white on the outside. So I always have a very, fairly good idea of what I want the painting to look like. And uh, I always do that first. Think about what I want and then start pouring. I used four 16 ounce cups of white paint in, on this painting. So my ratio to uh, Floetrol and paint is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did add one teaspoon of water and a water in the silver only. So I love it when I first start blowing and the colors start mixing. It is fabulous to see the patterns. Now I do keep the um, hair dryer on a cool setting and on a low setting as well. If you're gonna try this, take your time with the blowing. Uh, you want to be able to follow the pattern that is in your head, uh, the end result. Work towards that. You have to have a good image in your mind and work towards that. Now there was still a lot of gaps where there was no paint. And so sometimes you see me kind of going backwards and then forwards again. And that's just to make sure that I've covered the whole canvas in paint. I have been asked whether I uh, prep my uh, canvas in any way, and I don't. It's a dry canvas, nothing on it whatsoever. That being said, if I do see that the canvas is kind of bouncing around, I will spritz the back of it with water. Spritzing the back tightens up the canvas. Along the edges there, um, I was getting a very thin amount of paint, so I did up the um, blowing to a higher speed to be able to blow it out properly. Now sometimes I, I have even made the mistake of overblowing and then colors just get overmixed and it doesn't look good. So um, I tried very carefully here to remember that rule because it kind of is one of my rules. You want to have beautiful pattern and color combinations and mixing but not over mixing where it's just very dull and no pattern at all. This is a commission and I think my client's gonna love it. Um, he loves uh, neutral colors and has a modern home. Uh, so I think this is gonna go uh, in perfectly with his decor. I sing next. Unforgettable in every way and forevermore. That's how you'll stay. That's why, darling, it's incredible that someone so unforgettable thinks 
that I am unforgettable too. There is a video coming up with the dried results, so keep watching. And here it is from my side. It is still wet and so sorry about the glare, but wow, I am loving what I see. It is so beautiful. It has so many points of interest here. The silver has come through so beautifully, especially here, and you'll see it more when it's dry. You can see that there, see that metallic silver? It is beautiful. And some cells. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I can't wait to it uh, for it to dry and to show you in full length because it is hard to see far away, but um, I'm loving what I see and I'm so happy with it. Yay! I'll see you back here in just one second. Okay, and here is the painting outside and it dried beautifully. I love it even more now. So dramatic and so full of detail. I do love it. You can see the silver there as well as here. Look at that. It is so beautiful. I can't wait for my client to see this. I think he's gonna love it. If you click on the link you see now, you can see more of my fluid pores. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my Facebook group called Soraya Silvestri Artist Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pores. The link is in the description area below.